anti-inflammatory supplements in autoimmune disease. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. As you know, in autoimmune disease, it involves repeated bouts of flare-ups followed by remission. And during the flare-ups, or during the exacerbative stages, there's often a lot of inflammation as a key feature that leads to pain and often disability. So examples where that occurs are things like rheumatoid arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, Reiter's syndrome, lupus, psoriatic arthritis, and many other autoimmune conditions, especially if they involve certain joints of the body. So doctors often prescribe anti-inflammatory medications as part of the treatment, but of course if you, if you take too many anti-inflammatory drugs, the side effects can be intestinal ulceration and internal bleeding, liver damage, kidney damage, it could lead to the requirement for dialysis later in life or needing a kidney transplant, congestive heart failure, even high blood pressure. So anything you can do to reduce your reliance on the drugs or to use them the least amount possible is going to be in your best interest. So what you need to know is that there are effective natural anti-inflammatory herbs that exist that have been shown to be very useful to suppress inflammation and pain. And the natural anti-inflammatory herbs that have the best track record in cases like this are curcumin, boswellia, white willow bark extract, and ginger. So in human clinical studies, we see that with different types of rheumatoid arthritis and myalgias like fibromyalgia, osteoarthritis, that these particular herbal supplements have been shown to be excellent at reducing pain and inflammation even when they're tested against standard anti-inflammatory drugs. So we know that the effects can be very profound and these herbs don't have the side effects that the anti-inflammatory drugs have. In fact, some of the side effects are really positive. So for instance, curcumin and ginger and boswellia uh, have tremendous anti-cancer properties in addition to their anti-inflammatory properties. And they don't cause GI bleeding, there's no liver damage, there's no kidney damage, very easy on your stomach. So patients ask me, you know, so which one of these herbs should I be using and which one's the best one? The truth is that they work synergistically, so the best thing you can do is to get a supplement that has all four of those herbs in one capsule. It may require taking between two and 12 capsules a day, depending upon how severe the inflammation is, but somewhere in that range, you're going to probably see significant reduction in inflammation and pain. So how do these anti-inflammatory herbs work? Well, they actually block the same metabolic steps that are blocked by other anti-inflammatory drugs. They block the synthesis of the inflammatory chemical known as prostaglandin series two. So to really understand the features of this, I'd suggest you click on the link below. You can read my review article. It's called Nutrition and Supplementation Management in Autoimmune Disease. Uh, it has all the scientific references there. Uh, you know, me medical doctors don't study a lot of nutrition and natural medicine, so it's, you're probably not gonna get this information from them. That's why it's important that you read this for yourself. Now remember that at machinohealth.com you'll see my other research review papers and other footage from my live professional seminars, downloads, videos, resources I've created. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. So all the research articles and teaching materials have all the scientific references in them so you'll, you're going to see that you're getting only sound scientific information from me on any subject that you're looking for. So you should make machinohealth.com an ongoing reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.